This video is going to be a very short tutorial on how to download and install integrated graphics drivers manually on your PC or on your laptop. So in order to find the right drivers for your Intel integrated graphics card, you need to know the generation of your Intel CPU and the model of the integrated graphics card you have. There are many ways to figure this out. I will explain two easy ways. If you already know the model of your CPU and of the Intel graphics card installed, then you can skip this section to the next timestamp. The first method is to head over to the device manager on your PC. You can access device manager by using the search function in the Windows taskbar or by right clicking this PC, selecting manage and then pressing device manager in the window that opens. With the device manager open, expand the tab labeled as display adapters by clicking on the small arrow right next to the icon. Once expanded, this tab should show you a list of all the graphics cards you have, including the Intel integrated graphics card. It should also tell you the exact model number of your Intel HD graphics. Take note of that. For instance, I can see here that I have the Intel HD 630 installed on my PC. Next, head over to the processors tab and take note of the CPU model listed here. I have the Intel Core i7 7700HQ on my PC. You may need to know the generation of the CPU as well. To figure out the generation of the Intel CPU you have, you have to take note of the first or the first two numbers and the model number. So for instance, in the Intel Core i7 7700HQ, the first number which is 7 indicates its generation. Similarly, in the latest 12th generation Intel Core i7 12, 12700 CPUs, the first two letters in would indicate its generation. Another simple method is to use the DirectX diagnostic tool to figure out the CPU and the integrated graphics model number you have. Type DXDIAG in the Windows search function. Next, click on the application that shows up in the results. Once the tool opens, in the Systems tab, take note of the CPU model you have. Here it shows I have the Intel Core i7-7700HQ. I will take note of this. Next, head over to the Display 1 tab above and under the Device, device segment, look for the Name field, which shows the model of the integrated graphics card you have. I have the Intel HD Graphics 630, so I will take note of this. Exit this page. Anyhow, once you have figured out the model number of your CPU and of the Intel graphics installed on your PC, head over to Google and type a relevant query such as Intel HD graphics download, Intel download center, etc. Next, uh, go to the Intel's official download center from the Google search result to download the driver. So from the list of products shown, on the official website select graphics. Now on the left hand side you will see various search filters. Here you need to select the relevant Intel family of the graphics card first. Since I have the Intel HD 630 HD being the keyword here I would select the Intel HD graphics family from the filter. Next I would select my exact graphics card model which is the Intel HD 630. You may have to press view more to see your graphics card. Next, download the driver that shows up. Now here it shows two results. I can go for either of these but I would want to skip the beta driver. Beta indicates that it is being tested and may have bugs. So I will just go for the finalized driver available here. In the details of this driver, you can see what operating system and CPUs the graphics driver is compatible with. So this driver is compatible with Microsoft 10 and 11 operating systems and it supports, supports Intel 6th all the way to 12th generation CPUs. Note from earlier that I have the 7th generation Intel Core i7-7700HQ and I'm running Windows 10 operating system, hence this driver checks out. Next, download the driver. Make sure you download the .exe file. This allows for automatic installation. Uh, .zip file is used for manual installation. So let's go ahead and download the .exe file. 
Once the driver is downloaded, you have to locate it and double click it to initialize the installation process. Press run. So the installation wizard itself is quite straightforward. Just press begin installation. Agree to the license by scrolling all the way down. The installation wizard itself should guide you through the installation process. So I already have the latest driver installed. So I will skip the actual installation. To finalize the installation, you will have to restart your PC. Again, once the driver is installed, on your next restart, the latest Intel drivers will be installed on your PC. I hope this guide helped you in finding the drivers for your Intel graphics card. Now this is a fairly new channel, therefore if this guide did help you in any manner, then I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments box below.